The I-270 corridor has become the biotech hub for the state of Maryland. And with that, all eyes are on Montgomery County as we await a cure for the coronavirus. Emergent Biosolutions is one of the companies that's been in the news quite a bit lately for its work around the COVID-19 pandemic. Headquartered in Gaithersburg, they made a name for themselves with the only FDA-licensed anthrax vaccine. Uh, that essentially was the very beginning of our history in, in a very long-standing relationship with the U.S. government. Uh, in the early years, we manufactured biothrax. We sold primarily to the Department of Defense, Defense for use uh, on, the, on the troops. And uh, from there, we began to diversify as a company. We've, over the years, executed a variety of different uh, important strategic acquisitions. And those acquisitions have brought tremendous amount of talent and a tremendous amount of capability into our organization that has led us kind of on this journey throughout time to the point where here we are today, once again, bringing those capabilities and those talents to bear in the fight against COVID. Emergent is partnering with Novavax, another Montgomery County biotech, to manufacture its experimental vaccine. The company is also working with Johnson & Johnson to manufacture their vaccine applications. Emergent began working with the federal government in 2012 to build a manufacturing facility in Baltimore to respond to a future pandemic. And that forward thinking has brought them to where they are today. Both the Novavax relationship as well as the Johnson & Johnson relationship are really the the perfect synergy between a great technology and a great capability in, in the form of what Emergent has to offer. So the ultimate timeline for the development uh, and scale up commercial manufacturing of those vaccines is really dependent upon the platform itself. Uh, I oftentimes get the question of, well, how long does it take to produce tens of millions of doses of vaccine? And I often try to help people understand that on a product by product basis, the answer to that question is really dependent upon the yields of the individual manufacturing platforms and what they can produce. And each one of these companies has some different capable platforms. And for biotechs like Emergent who are working to dismantle COVID, Montgomery County is a great place to grow where the necessary resources to succeed are within a 20 mile radius. And in light of all this recent work that you've done, and, and, and there's been a lot of it recently, where do you see Emergent's future role in, in talent creation and economic development for the state of Maryland and Montgomery County? You know, we've always taken a lot of pride uh, in being here. Uh, so there was always an intent to locate our headquarters in the Maryland area. It brings a lot of benefits to us. Health and Human Services is a primary uh, partner and customer. We have the FDA. We've got important organizations like Novavax in, in the local community as well. So for us currently, we have a manufacturing plant in Rockville, Maryland. We have a fill finish facility in Baltimore, Maryland. And then we have the Center for Innovation and Advanced Development Manufacturing Facility that I was referring to earlier in partnership with the government. It's also in Baltimore. Uh, our corporate headquarters is at, is at 400 Professional uh, in Gaithersburg. And we have a product development facility right down the hill in Gaithersburg as well. So we have a huge footprint here. Are really happy that we've been able to successfully grow in this region. And it's a wonderful talent pool. We've got a lot of fantastic, capable people who've come from the local community and look forward to the future in the, in the greater Montgomery County area. Reporting from Rockville, I'm Susan Kennedy.